Hey everybody, it's Travis speaking. If you've been following along, uh, you'll notice that we've been making some roofs for this house. And in the last video, we took a look at how to create a roof by extrusion. Uh, that was this roof over here for the garage. Um, because dormers aren't something that's really covered a lot, what I wanted to do was take a look at how one might create a dormer. Um, so in the last time we made these extrusion roofs and we connect them into the hip from our other roof and that's just a pretty simple procedure using this join roofs tool but once you get into the dormer you need to make a cut in the other roof that actually exists on two planes and to do that Revit has a really great tool so let's take a look at how we're gonna get these walls in here um, in the first place and if I take a look at this from an elevation view the best place to start my walls for a base constraint is probably the main floor and then I'll use the edit profile tool to do these infill walls so let's go to our main floor plan and <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'm going to see if I can use an underlay for the second floor and get an idea as to where this roof lies so right now I have it centered on the over the the garage door and what we can do is use these lines with an offset to create the walls that we need for it so let's come over here to the architecture tab and I'm gonna choose an architectural wall and not something with brick let's use the let's just use this exterior board and batten one that we used before so as you can see here from the draw tools I'm gonna to use my pick lines option and I'm going to do the sidewalls first with an offset of, we'll say, six inches. And this will give me a wall there. And I'll come over here to this one and put a wall in there. Now these look like they're in the wrong orientation. So I'm just going to switch. I'm going to select both of these walls. And what I want to do is change just trying to change their location line so it looks like I gotta do that so I'll choose wall center line and then wall center line because I don't want these to shift in the uh, the y-axis so by choosing the wall center line if I select my wall now and hit the space bar it just flips it so that my exterior uh, cladding is to the actual exterior and let's just put another one in there for the front And again, I'm going to use that same six inch offset. So I'll come in here and find that front. And it looks like that one needs to flip as well. So you'll notice that by hitting the space bar or hitting this toggle, it actually changes um, where, where it is. That one though, I didn't change the location line. So let me just do that. And then I'll move that back. Okay, so I'm not really concerned about the overhang. I just want to just wanted to show you guys that if I was, what I could come down here and do is just switch this witness line so that it's to the outside and then grab this other witness line and we'll change that to the actual overhang. And then I can just change this to six inches. Okay, so now the only thing I have to do is just miter off these corners. And now I have the bases of my infill walls. But I need to do some more here to, to get these to look proper. So what I'm going to do is come back to my 3D view. And you'll notice that this wall here is going up above. So I don't actually want that. So what I'm going to do is use my edit profile tool and take a look at this from the left. And now I'm just going to use this align tool and what I'm going to do is use the top line of the roof and then join that to the bottom. I'll remove the constraint and leave the top as is. That's fine. I don't need to really worry about that. So I'll do that on this guy as well. I'll we'll just do that quick. Remove the constraint and we'll accept that. And then this one here, um, I can do the same thing. I'm going to be editing this profile so that 
this line here is where I want it. So I don't really need to align it to anything. I'm just going to grab that line and drag it to where it meets these walls here. Okay. Oh, one other thing. Oh, I don't really need to do that. What I can do for the rest of these, the tops, is just say attach top base with all three of these. And they should get me to the underside of this roof now. Oh, this one didn't want to do it. Let's try it again. Oh, I see what happened. <clears throat> okay, so now that I've got those walls connected properly, um, what I want to do is make the cut in this roof. This roof is still solid geometry going right through this dormer. So the way that these are framed out is that these side walls and this front wall are going to be, the load is going to go onto the roof itself. So what we want to do is make sure that the opening that we cut is on the inside face of these walls. To do that, let's come back over to the architecture tab and in the opening uh, panel, what we want to choose is dormer. So when we choose the dormer, um, you simply just take a look at the lower left hand corner where it says select a roof to be cut by dormer opening. So that's this roof here and you'll notice it opens into a modify edit sketch for the dormer. So it's giving me this option that says select faces and edges that compose the boundaries of the dormer opening. Okay so I'm going to click in here and I'm just going to select these walls and if I hit that toggle again you'll see that I get the option of bringing that to the inside. Okay, so let me just click on that and I'll click on this one and hit the toggle. Okay, and now I'm going to select the roof and you'll notice that it puts those edges in there for me. Okay, so what I want to do is remove these outside ones that I picked by accident and then I'm going to use my trim extend feature to turn this shape into a nice closed profile. Okay, and now what we should have is an opening. So you can see when I highlight that, I've got an opening cut. But let's just take a look at that with a section view and make sure we've got what we want. So I'm going to come to view, choose section. I'm just going to draw a section view right through that garage and now you can see if I change this over to a shaded mode I've got a cut in my roof and it's a perfect dormer okay so that's how you can create the dormer opening in uh, in any roof an extruded roof or a roof by footprint if you do a roof by face using massing tools you can use that as well and it's really handy great little feature so Hope you enjoyed that and you can use that in the future. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, we'll be doing some videos on stairs in the future, so if you're interested in that, please check in with us and uh, we'll have some more stuff for you. Thanks for watching. Bye now.